taken them to the, the true God. And that is exactly what had happened with the Jews, the Hebrews, the Pharisees, and the Sadducees that Christ was exposing. Derek Glavacher. Now he was Jerry exposing Lager, them. They didn't understand. Matthew End Times Yahoo. No, but we don't have to get into them. Tyler Mullen. SJD. You know, all the people that came in my direction. Here's here's how I see this thing, how it played out. When Derek Bros got up on YouTube December 31st, 2017, and I got up <clears throat> nine months before that, exactly. And so he started his YouTube channel. I'm sure that he started it by design on that day. It has nothing to do with me showing up on my YouTube channel. But coincidentally enough, nine months later, he does hop up. I don't know him. I've never watched a video. I don't... 2018, maybe, I did towards the end. <clears throat> but around March, that's when the... That's when the plot happened. Right before Passover in 2018, Derek from Aglapa Truth was the Judas. He was the Judas. He was the one that came up with the plan. Well, orchestrated it. I mean, you know who orchestrates the plans, the ones from above, the ones pulling all the strings. But out of... Derek from Aglapa Truth's own subliminal message, Masonic hand signs, he's the one that came up with the plan. The the Because here's what happened. Andrew, who I'm giving him a pardon. I am. I'm giving all of you a pardon because you knew not what you were doing, although you thought you did. And I'll explain to you what your boss told you back then about me Derek is the one Aglapa Truth Davis it's funny that he has the same last name as my kid's mom and they look the same and and they're Indian and, you know the Indian background nature the plan was for Andrew to get really close to me, which he did, and to never say anything bad about me, which he didn't, but Jamie the Wabbit, the Count, well, that's different. He admitted that that's who he is through subliminal Masonic hand signs. Back then, I didn't know that until I re-looked, now I can see it as clear as day. But even if that wasn't the case in that, just let me clarify this, even if that wasn't him, he definitely knew who it was, and he definitely knew that I was being trolled by it. But because it was him, and the Jezebel, that was the Jezebel spirit for sure. I recognized that spirit, even though I didn't even know really much about Jezebel, but that was the spirit, the Leviathan and the Jezebel spirit. So he got really close to me. Like, the first one that got really, really... Because I called him quite often. I think I called him more than I talked to Justin. But his brother, Simon Peter, he got close to me as well. Because I did FaceTime with him and talked quite often. And he never would shut up. Which is another thing that Simon Peter had a problem with was he didn't like to shut up. He talked and talked and talked and talked. You know how hard it was to get a word in when I was talking to Simon Peter on the phone? It's crazy. <clears throat> so his brother Andrew, because this is what the, this is the script. I'm not even telling you this is the real deal that that's who they are. I'm telling you what I see as the script that they were uh, either told or or kind of developed into being that and who they are. Andrew 
Also, according to scripture, Andrew, Andrew, you know, Jesus never had anything bad to say about Andrew. And he was the only one. I just found that out yesterday. I'm like, oh, I see. Okay, I see where the script is now. I, I, and I'm going to tell you, just relax, all right? People, the ones with those thoughts in your head right now. Like, oh, oh my God, he's, 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 he's Jesus. Were you not thinking that? It's so easy to understand people's thoughts. This is the whole point that I'm getting at. It doesn't even matter what level you're on anymore. You can be the highest level up in the world controlling stuff like Derek Bros and, and Jonathan Click, the you know, the two parties, the Republican, because Derek is representing Trump because Trump's reading his words. And then Joe Biden, uh, Lady Gaga. Jonathan Clegg, that you know, the Democratic Party, which I'll get to that in a minute, where if you guys are trying to pretend that you're not in on it together as people that run this planet, and I put you in a, in a category of, yeah, you are, but yet the way the world's played out, Democratic and Republican... WWE wrestlers, the good guys, the bad guys, it's all the same. These are all in on it. But if you want to pretend that you're not, well, then here's why I don't believe that you is. <clears throat> here's why I don't believe it. If you say that you love me, Derek, bros, because as a harlot, you seen that I recognized Rahab because everybody came to her. And you see that how I've continually, you know, the spirit remained upon that one person that continually, continually, continually did it. Did I know that was scripture while I was doing it? No. Do I know it now? Obviously. So pretending that you, you hate your brother, sister, brother, but you love me. And then for Jonathan to pretend that, not pretend that he loves me, I could, I know that you do, and I'm not saying that Derek doesn't, but to say that you love me, but yet you hate your brother over there, it doesn't make sense because it doesn't line up with the Word of God. How can you love somebody over here who, who, how can you love somebody here who loves your enemy? Hmm? How can you? You're either a hypocrite, liar. Well, or you, because they're either hypocrite liars uh, playing the role. You're either hypocrite liars flat out, or you're playing the role, which I understand has to fulfill to the end. So, you know, this is where some of these lies are... I, you know, it's, I'm not going to hold it against you forever because I know you're going to repent of all of them. It's either that or you're pretending, you know, I mean, you are all pretending anyway. Um, or you really do love me. And you really did hate your brother over there. And you really did hate each other. But the one that controls the, the air and the sky and the sun and the moon loves me. The one that controls the the flesh body system loves me. The one that controls the land loves me. But you just don't like each other? Well, I can see where that could have been, obviously, the, the, the real deal. But I came along and showed you what you guys are doing and saying and feeling and everything inside and out. Which has the ability to change people's hearts. So th those are just my observations that are facts. But I'll just leave it open as it's an observation. And then what happens is I grow on you. I grow on you because here's the deal. From the beginning, Derek Bros definitely, definitely sent his people in my direction. All of you. All of you. Knowing that this is the guy that is claimed Lucifer, but 
their uh, John Clegg is also the uh, the Adam one is also doing the same thing because there's two different sides because Derek Bros's side is uh, and I know that you guys appreciate me calling you out by name because a lot of people don't like calling saying name they like talking about people but not and I went through that too and if I'm getting threatened to sh shut down so I'm saying you know collect merchandise then shut me down I just I'm tired of the whole thing of pretending that it ain't what it is and it isn't what it is but it is what it is so as you guys uh, we'll start with Derek because it just seems more like maybe Jonathan Click learned about me later on towards the end when I came because his, his employee said he, he sh led me to him right Johnny Wise the third you said that, you know, I mean, it, it is your own words. You did say that. You said that you, you, uh, you brought me to him. <clears throat> and so what happened was this. Andrew. Harden, Derek, Davis, Matty Yahoo, Stephen James, all of you, from the beginning, here's what you were told. Derek Davis was told to come up with a, with a strategic plan to turn against me. Make sure Andrew always stays out of it. He'll always stick up for me no matter what. And <clears throat> even to the point of if he has to disappear, if he because if he doesn't disappear, he's eventually going to come against me because everybody has. So he was the only one that didn't publicly, so he had to disappear. And then just step off. He did his job. His job was along with Derek Davis, was to come against me as the Judas. You know, Derek as the Judas, because Derek is the one that lied about, uh, I'm the one that set Andrew up to recording his phone call, and that whole thing that happened. And because he got his 30 shekels, and he got new stuff and furniture, you know, things, just a whole, like a new channel and set up and, and he went on his way. <clears throat> he did that because they were all told, not that they believe it and not that it's even true, that we're going to pick Robin as the scapegoat Jesus. We're going to pick him. So what you guys got to do is you got to come after him. And you got to crucify him before the Passover, which was in April 2018. Because it's just, that was the, that's the original plan of what they wanted to do. Is come in my direction and backstab. I got a, I got a, it's funny I got a, like a mark on my back. It's, it's a low mark on my back. Like I've been stabbed. And I may, I don't even know what it's from. It just appears sometimes and goes away. Sometimes it itches. Sometimes it, it's weird. Maybe it's my disc popping through my back. But that was the, uh, that was the plan was everybody in this group, all these, all these, all these uh, disciples, they all came in Robin T's direction. And because your boss knows that I'm somebody that did appear out of nowhere, and I am exposing what you are doing, some of the things didn't even happen yet that I was talking about before, like that letter that I wrote to my neighbors, th those kinds of things that I seen before I even hopped on YouTube, they know that you know these things are true. So for me to be able to see it 
and I'm from the outside and all of you guys are from the inside, you were told to play the role. Here. We're going to we're going to use him as Jesus, Robin over there. We're going to and so you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to pretend you're right. All you guys got to just, you know, come in his direction. You got to uh you got to tell him that, you know, he's the light and he's the the Messiah or you think he's a a, a true prophet, Scotty Alpine, remember that? Oh, Rob, I I think you're a true prophet. Well, you were told because you're a, you ha, you're an employee of your boss to say these things, to come in my direction. And at the same time, try to brainwash me into believing that's JD over there. That's that's Jesus. And it, it all went according to plan, didn't it? Like, because here's what happened. You guys crucified me. You put me to death. You, you got me to start believing that this guy over here... That's Jesus, the Messiah, or the last Adam, or the first, or the first and the last. It's so confusing that it's it's nauseating to try to think of all the different interpretations as to what, who, and where, and why, and, and everything. So I got crucified, literally, uh, I mean, not actual literally, but literally spiritually, I got crucified by all of yous. All of yous. Yins. Is... Justin, I got crucified by him like three different times. But it's all good. I'm not mad whatsoever. I'm just stating what facts are. That's all. Just many will be offended in these days and blessed are you if you're not offended. But being crucified before Passover was important because Judas had to come in my direction. This is, this is what was played out. Judas came in my direction and betrayed me and handed me over to the authorities and then took his little shekels and him and a highly trained reviewer because I just watched a video yesterday. Uh, I forgot her name. What's your wife's name, Derek? Uh, the teacher, art teacher. She is... A, is she was the highly trained reviewer. That's our job. And um, you, you proved it in one way or another. But with that being said, you came in my direction. You, you betrayed me like Jesus, playing out the role. Not that it's even true, okay? Get this straight, people. Not that it's even true. But that is what you were told to do three years ago. Christ was in the heart of the earth for how many days? Well, if you look at is it a day as a year, a year as a day, three days, three years. He rises up from the dead. So that's the spirit that's being played out. Three years ago, I got crucified by all of yins, and you were all told that this is who we're going to pick as Jesus. Not that he's not even, just, but we're going to do that. And yous are all going to come against them and backstab them and turn and fall out and go away and go about your business. Because 2018, May 21st, 2018, it's a new start for somebody else, not me. Even though it was. It was a start for me. So the crucifixion was a spiritual thing, turning in my direction. All of the people, Tim Sater's, Tyler Mullen, uh, all of you guys that I had your numbers and I and I communicated with all of you. I wasn't trying to play Jesus. You guys were trying to make me Jesus. Is what it is. What it is. You you guys were told that this is the person that we are going to play this out with. But you all know who the real Jesus is. The real Jesus. Over there in Michigan is your, you know, commander. But the top commander of that guy over there would be the other one that came from the north. But over in the over in the south, towards the southwest, there's this other 
twin group over there that's saying that a gadfly is coming from the north. And when you go at Sodom and Gomorrah, anything that refers to the word coming, just, just think about it. And if you're coming from the north, then you're coming from up, above, down, as you get an uplift. You get a ball sack uplift. Those are the different things that have been played out. But as you know who your boss is, Lucifer, you know that Lucifer's playing Jesus. So you're told to come in Robin's direction, the one that resembles the Spirit of Christ because he, he is coming with the truth. And he's exposing certain things. End up waking up, didn't wake up fully. I'm pretty much fully awake right now. And I can't really get much more awake than right now. And most of you can't see that still, but it doesn't matter because the ones that run the planet, they see it. Even if I got completely shut down and I just want to talk out loud to Lucifer, I will hear me. Doesn't matter. This YouTube thing matters nothing. That this is what I'm saying. When it comes to trying to pull me in this direction or pull me in that direction, it doesn't matter. No matter what I do, no matter what platform I join, you guys are still going to see me every day. You're going to surveil me with every possible... Sur is this some kind of crossing word or something? So you're going to see me everywhere I go. You're going to listen to me with every words that I say, every store I go into, every conversation I have. No matter what TV I sit in front of, no matter what vehicle I sit down in, no matter which... Which phone is in front of me, dashboard, center console, doesn't matter. You're still going to hear it. That's why I just, I joined Derek's platform um, because I know who these, the most important people are in the world that run, that runs the world. It's not that I'm, I'm not looking for a handout. I'm just looking to continue to gain the knowledge. And even if I'm trying to be, even if people are trying to still deceive me, that's fine too. You, you can try as much as you want because that's the whole purpose. You have to hit me with your best shot and then see that I'm still up every single day. I don't think anybody on YouTube has, has done that, that you guys have come at. And you probably have come at a lot of people. Chris Yoon might even be a real person. He might have gained his subscribers like that way and he might be a real person saying real things or he could just be another agent from the inside. I only watched what Justin showed, uh, the one video that said I, I don't really care to get into it. <clears throat> so no matter what, I'm supposed to be tricked and tried and tested. So, answer me this question, if anybody knows, any agents from the inside, if you're willing to, you know, just, if you're willing to come out and say it, how many people from the year, two, the beginning of the year 2018, that you guys have surveilled, that you've come, that you've come after and attacked viciously and stalked, and surveilled and harassed in physical real world and on spiritual uh, in the YouTube platform social media world how many people how many regular individuals like myself that just work for a living you don't work for the inside you have no connections anywhere how many people on YouTube from the year the beginning of the year 2018 from the very start continued to make videos Every single day for the entire year of 2018. Every single day for the entire year of 2019. Every single day for the year of 2020, except for maybe a seven-day vacation. And is still doing videos now in the year 2021. That all of you have come against. All of you are waiting for a meltdown video, right? Agents or people too. Everybody was waiting for these meltdown videos. How many regular individuals... Have you guys come against that are still doing videos, that are still talking? How many? Probably zero. So because of that fact alone, it sets me in a different... 
area. It's a different level of you're not going to stop what I need to continue to do. And when I feel as though I'm done doing what I'm doing, then that's it. I'll just go about my business. I don't care about this script being played out for real. My goal in life is to relax and retire at as early age as possible. If anybody wants to help me out with that, that happens to run this planet, I don't know, that happened to hire all these people that came in my direction that could not do their job, which was to shut me up. Although they did do their job exactly the way they're supposed to, but it might not have been expected. Their job was to fail. <laughs> they did their job. So if you're uh, someone that runs this planet and you've given people what a, I mean, a, quite a lifestyle to be a liar, to be a cheater, to be a filthy scumbag, and your heart is no longer like that because of me, if you're willing to help me out in my life, I would greatly appreciate it. Don't think that I'm ever going to do anything that's going to go against the law of God anyway, so you already know that. I'm, and again, I'm not, I can see where it is. I, it doesn't matter who thinks what. Over here in the click world, I feel like one of them is raising up the other, the Adam and the Eve. But at the same time, they both know what I've been doing this entire time. And if you can get me to say, yes, Jesus, you, you are my son, Johnny. You're my son, Johnny Click. And, and I am your God. I am God. You're my son, Jesus. I'm denying my father, just like that, because I'm not God, and you're not Jesus, and you're not my son. So, because you're the son of God, there's many sons of God, but there's one person that's supposed to deliver the message. Humbly, of course, and not fail. And whoever that person is, gets the reward in the end. I don't know who that person's going to be because I'm not from the inside. I don't have that surveillance. But the ones that run the planet, they do. And then over here, you got Derek Bros. Well, Derek Bros, well, he doesn't mind with me thinking I'm Jesus. Because after all, didn't he tell you guys that I am? The only problem with that is I'm not. And if I claim to be Jesus, then... Derek would want me to believe that he's my father because Father God, just like Jacob Israel, Jacob, if that's even not Derek in, in a meat suit, but because of being a one man show. But either way, Jacob Israel in this script is being told that, you know, he's the son of God because who's God? Well, God is the one that employed him. So do you see where this thing is where you have one side, the Republican? Because, because uh, you know, playing out. Because obviously Trump's words are coming out of Derek's mouth. He's about the political realm, the, the coup taker on it. And, um, and then over there in Texas, you got the Democratic side because of Obama. Obama and Biden and Lady Gaga. And the whole thing with Kleck showing ladies Gaga with a slit cut in her ball sack bag. I guess that's what it is. Cometh from the north. Being a man, but completely inverting into a woman with a concealed weapon, breast implants and everything. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's everybody, pretty much. The way this is, because you guys were told that, not that I am Jesus, but you were told that I'm the person that's playing it out. So you got to come against me. You got to crucify me. And I'm coming up on my third year. I'm coming up on my third year since I was crucified back then by all of the YouTube agents that came in my direction that failed miserably because I'm still up, still talking, you haven't stopped me. Not only that, I'm exposing everything now completely. I'm even exposing what you were told three years ago that I just figured out now. <clears throat> so if I was to say, yo, Derek, yeah, hey, fine, I'm Jesus, yep, yeah, I'm Jesus, uh, but you're my father. I'm denying my creator. If I tell Jonathan Clegg over here, uh, well done, my good and faithful son. 
in whom I am well pleased, then I'd be saying that I'm God and I'm not. So I'd be denying my creator. I'm just, I am that person uh, on earth that appeared out of nowhere by myself. Nobody encouraged me to do anything. Nobody said a word about whatsoever about what I should do, what I should say, nothing. I'm that guy that came up and continually focused in on who I need to come after and expose. And by everybody coming to my direction, backstab me, I realized who your boss is. And then I was able to come towards your boss and then expose everything about your bosses and then tell them how they feel inside and then tell them what they're thinking. Imagine that. So whoever that guy is, whatever title you want to put on that person, that's who I am. I am that guy that did that. And, and I'm only going to be recognized for doing that to the people that I did it to, which can be just a handful of people out of however many watch this video. And I'm perfectly okay with everybody's thoughts running rampant because it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. It's, they're your thoughts. They're not mine. I don't have to live with you. I don't have to live with your thoughts. I don't have to be tormented by you. You torment yourself. I don't attach feelings to anybody anymore because I understand what it is. These are spirits that are driven in and out. They weave in and out. It's up to you to cast it out. I can only help you cast it out. Why do you think I'm going after that one lost sheep, John the Third, over there? Because I see that there's a, there's a bipolar um, spirit. There's a laughter, a crying, a... Th you know, the, laugh, the laughter thing is something that, it's a defense mechanism. When you laugh so much, you're, you're trying to make the other person feel stupid that's watching you laugh. But the reality is, you're the one that looks stupid by doing that. But I understand it's just a, it's a defense mechanism. And the cursing, the F, F word, I, I know it's not an actual word, curse. Because when you're trying to curse somebody, you're like casting a spell on them. Uh, and that's what Derek Aglop Truth was doing to Andrew that one day. But, you know. <clears throat> but the point is, the words itself, it's like a tough guy kind of. If you laugh, if you're laughing in someone's face and you're F bombing, you're using the F bomb to be like intensified, intimidating, and you're using the laughter. To try to make them feel stupid as you're intimidating them. It doesn't work. It only makes you look dumb. It makes you sound less intelligent. And the only thing I can do is try to help you say, try to replace the word with friggin', at least. I was in jail in my cell. He used to say, futtin'. Because he, he, the word was a was a problem for him. So he would look, oh man, I was at the futtin' uh, 